Good morning, everyone. This class today is the good luck, they call it a good luck crane, probably because of the fan of the, the uh, tail. But let me show you. This is the good luck crane. Isn't that cool? There's two different versions. And this one kind of sits straight up like that. So I'm encouraging everyone to use double-sided paper if you have it, because as you could see, so there's two different versions. This one lays kind of flat this way, and this one kind of sits up, oops, this way, which is kind of cool. And the head on this one here is, is different than the traditional head on this one. And uh, so it's really cool. So you can, if you've got standard origami paper, it's great. You can make the tail white or you can make the tail the color. Um, if you've got pattern paper and solid like this, uh, one of the Tuttle designs, traditional Japanese designs paper, uh, this is great. Uh, be, both of these are folded from a 10 inch. This one is folded from a six inch, so which is great. But you can also fold it from a three inch, which actually ends up being a chopstick rest, which is pretty cool. And, but once you get this, this is really great. You can whip these out, no problem. It, it, it's pretty, pretty fun. It does get kind of small though when you pleat the tail. So uh, that's why I'm suggesting if you can um, uh, start with a 10 inch by 10 inch, that's really ideal. Six inch and six inch would be fine too, but uh, 10 inch just seems to work. It's just a little bit better for the purposes of folding this for the first time. We are going to get started. So I have a 10 inch by 10 inch paper here and um, I want the crane to be, um, uh, I want the tail, <clears throat> this inside part here to be orange and I want the outside to be blue, okay? So that's how I'm going to do, do mine. So whatever tail color you want, have that color face up when you have your paper oriented on your table, okay? So the, the color side that's face up is what's going to be this tail color, okay? And mine is going to be orange. So we're going to start there. Um, what, we should, what we want to do is first fold it into two rectangles, okay? So let's go ahead and fold it into a rectangle. So again, my crane is going to be blue. So the color you want the crane or the outside part of the model should be what you see here, okay? And then unfold, let's rotate and fold the other rectangle. Um, it's helpful if you have a creasing tool uh, for this, uh, you can go ahead and use your creasing tool. I'm going to use my Sharpie here for the pre creases. So now that you've done that, let's open it up. Let's turn it over. So now you're looking at the color of the crane, right? This should be the, the, uh, the outside color. Let's fold our triangles. So let's go ahead and fold triangle. You should be looking at the tail color, right? Open it up, rotate, and fold the other triangle. And then go ahead and, you know, use your creasing tool. I didn't do it on the other one, but um, you may use it as you go along. And so now that you've done that, we're going to open it up. And so now you should be looking at your, the outside, the, the, the color of the crane, the outside part, not the tail part. Okay. Reach underneath and from the center, you're going to pop it up. So it pops up like this. And then you're just going to gather your paper from the corners, bring it together so that it goes, when your hands meet, it should look like this from the top. You're just gonna split your layers and have two and two. So when you put it face down, you should have your preliminary base, your stacked square preliminary base. Okay, great. So let's see, now you've got your open end facing you 
And when I've taught the crane before and in other classes, um, I, we're gonna make our ice cream cone, okay? But we're only gonna do it on this one side, that's key. So we're gonna take this, make sure that the open end is facing you, take this edge, fold it up to, but not over that center line, up to, but not over, and fold half of your crane, uh, your cone. After you fold it, you can use your creasing tool here. And then do the other side. So we're gonna take that edge, the left edge, and bring it up to the, not over the center line. And then go ahead and use your creasing tool. So you should have this ice cream cone, okay? Now we're going to make our ice cream, right? We have our ice cream up here. So just go ahead and fold that down the ice cream on the ice cream cone. And definitely you want to use your creasing tool to go ahead and crease, reinforce that. Okay, so now that we have this, unfold the ice cream, unfold the cone. Let's stretch the paper out, leaving this part flat and using that as your hinge. So stretch the paper out like this, bring the sides in, starting from the bottom. Work the paper in and then pinch the top wing in place. Go from the other side, start from the bottom, work your way in. You may have to open up this area in here and then pinch, pinch this. Oops, let me open that up and then pinch the top in place and then you'll flatten it out just like that. Okay, so this is your petal fold, but only on one side. We're not gonna turn it over and do the same on the other side. So just the one side, okay? Now let's turn it over. So we're gonna turn it over. Now we've got our square here, actually two flaps, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to squash fold each flap. When you squash fold it, you have to reinforce the spine. So we're going to take this flap and swing it over to the left. Give that a crease and then bring it to center. Then slip your finger inside. We're going to pop open the pocket like this. And then we're going to squash fold it into place. Now you may have to get a tool to get in there and open up all the way here at so see it comes to a point and you're going to squash it so that that fold line lines up with the center of these two flaps down here now let's take the left hand part of that flap that we just created and let's bring it fold it over to the right just like what i'm doing here okay so your model should look like this so now we have this flap on the left Let's swing that over to the right, reinforce the spine, bring it to center, and repeat. We're gonna slip our finger inside the pocket. If I can get it, open it up. And squash fold this, keeping the center line lined up with the bottom two flaps here. So now that we have that, let's go to the next step. So you see you have two long triangles here. We're going to bisect this point on each side. And basically this is a pre-crease. So you really wanna uh, make sure that this one is pretty accurate and let's reinforce it with our bone folder or our creasing tool. Okay, let's do the first one. I'm gonna take the left flap here and you see this edge here is going to line up with the center using this as your pivot point. Okay, so it's gonna basically fold that in half. Make, make sure you go up to, but not over that crease line, okay? And it'll come to a long point that will point upwards like that. After you've made your crease, go ahead and use your creasing tool and reinforce that. 
And now let's do the same for the other side, this other flap here. So let's fold that in half. So bring that up to, but not over the center line. Fold that nicely in place. And then use your creasing tool to make it super flat. Okay, hopefully everyone's got that. Okay, so now we're going to, let's start with the left side here. We're going to unfold it. So if you watch this first, it will make a lot of sense. You'll know which, which way we're going with this. So this is, we just made a pre-crease. You're gonna take the whole flap and just kind of bend, uh, fold it back over the spine and bring it to center. Now, this is a more narrow squash fold. So you wanna slip your finger inside and you're gonna squash fold this. It should fall right into place because you have the pre-crease done. So go ahead and try that. So it should look like this. Okay. When you finish that, you're just going to take the other half of that flap and let's just fold it back over to the left. So now it should look like this at the bottom, like a little pleat, pleat, pleat. Okay. We're gonna repeat that with this side. So the sequence is you unfold it, take the whole flap, reinforce the spine by folding it back over to the left and then bringing it to center and then slipping your finger inside the pocket and squash folding this along those pre-creases that you just made like that. And then you're going to take the right side of that the, the right flap here and just swing it over to the left. And this sequence we're gonna repeat with these flaps here. So let's go ahead and um, take this flap, swing it over to the left. Let's bisect these two triangles. Let's do this one first, the one on the left, that one comes in up to but not over that crease line. The same for the one on the right side of that. Use your creasing tool to reinforce those pre-creases. You saw how easy it was to squash fold those two flaps just now because of the, the pre-crease that you've done. Okay, so now let's go ahead and unfold the one on the left. You wanna remember and swing it back over to the right to reinforce the spine, bring it to center, and then you could squash fold it. It's really important to make sure that you keep mindful of reinforcing the spine, because then everything just falls right into place very nicely and it's nice and centered. Like that. Then we move this flap over to the left so that we can get to the final one here on the right. So we unfold that, take the whole thing and swing it over to the left, reinforcing the spine, bringing it to center and slipping your finger in and squash folding. So now, Everyone's model should look like this. This is where we, if you can orient your model to the last stage so it looks just like this. What we need to do now is to find the center of these, of these pleats down here. So easy enough to do. Let's take this flap and fold it over to the right. So it looks like this. Take the next flap on the left Fold that over to the right, so it looks like that. And then the final one, taking this flap and folding it over to the right. So now that you're seeing this, and what you should see are two short and two long flaps on either side. If you look, open it up and look, you should see the two small ones and then the two bigger ones on the outside. So you've split them so it's nice and even, okay? now. 
you see this part here, there's a slight uh, pre-crease going across here. What we wanna do is take this entire triangle and just fold it in half along that, along that uh, pre-crease. There are a lot of layers here. So what you need to do is when you first bring it over, you might have to make sure that this is, you, you can kind of pre-crease it with your fingernail or your creasing tool just to get all those layers so it doesn't wrinkle up. And just fold the whole thing down. Okay. When you do that, after you fold it, you definitely need your creasing tool to reinforce, especially all the layers in the middle there. So just give it a good, a good nudge right there in the middle. Okay, so now I'm gonna rotate the model. So let's rotate our model and we're just gonna rotate it so that it's oriented this way. And we're going to fold it in half right down the middle here. So let's, I'm going to take the left side and bring it over to the right. Again, you have a lot of layers here. So after you've made that crease, just go ahead and, and take your creasing tool and give that a good, especially right here in the middle. You can go all the way up and down. So now, if you see, there is a pre-crease line going right through the middle right here. We're gonna use that as a guide. From the, so orient your model so it looks like this, so the bump out is pointing to the right, okay? Um, we're gonna take, use this as a pivot point. We're gonna take this edge and line it up with that pre-crease line that you've got going on here, so it looks like this. Okay. Give that a good crease and use the creasing tool, and then unfold. So we're gonna unfold that. Let's turn it over. So turn it over so that your model is oriented in this way. And we're going to recrease this. We're just kind of reinforcing this pre-crease. So you wanna just take this and fold it right along that line. We, you know, we've got our, our pre-crease going here. So we're gonna take this and fold it over. We're just reinforcing that crease because what we're gonna do is do an outside reverse fold. Okay, so just following along that crease and then unfold it. So this fold should be really nice and, and creased. So now outside reverse fold. What you're doing is you're just going to, if you kind of, open it up and split the layers from the back. You kind of have to hold this in your hands to do this. You see this point here? If you push it down, these you want to be valley folds. You've got that pre-crease in place. Once you push that down, it should be there. So by the time that happens, you can take the tail and as you refold that, it should go like that. So basically it's wrapping around the body of the tail. You see how that works? So now um, I'm gonna rotate my model or not rotate, but just flip it over to this way so that now it's pointing to the left. And what we're going to do is we're gonna actually kind of do a, a different head. If you look at this head, it doesn't look like your typical crane um, you know, inside reverse fold. It's kind of like a two-part reverse fold, okay? And it's really easy to do. We're gonna put a pre-crease in place first. So have your model oriented this way. And we're going to make, we're going to do a valley fold that swings out. So it looks like he's looking to the tip of his tail like that. Okay, so it should be, the angle should be that, that way. So go ahead and, and Figure out how large you want the beak to be and fold it, make a valley fold pointing to the back of the tail like that. Usually when you're doing this, this should kind of make a right angle right in here. Okay. Uh, use your creasing tool here. We're gonna crease that really well. And then unfold. Now we're going to make a second crease that's gonna go 
right across like that. So here's the other, the crease that we just made. And so now to do, make this crease, which starts at the end there, just gonna take the point and fold it down and you want the edges to be even all along this side, if that makes sense. That will give you a right angle here and a nice straight and use your creasing tool too. And then unfold. So you should have a crease here and a crease there. It should look like that. Okay. So now we're going to take, we're going to open up the layers. So from the tail side here, we're going to open it up. And what we're going to do is this crease line is going to turn into mountain folds. So you open it up and we're going to push it down and we're going to reverse the direction of this here. So you see this turns into a mountain fold. And since you've pre-creased it, the other side should turn into a mountain fold. And then, so leave it flat like that. And then that pre-crease line going right through the middle there, making that triangle, just gonna take the point and do a valley fold that goes back that way. Okay. And then let's make a valley fold right through the middle of the beak here by pinching these together. So that is the head. So now we just have two more folds. So you see this point down here, you have two flaps. We're just going to make a mountain fold that kind of cuts off this angle here. And what I do is just kind of bring it in. That looks about right to me. Just tuck it behind and then make your crease. And then once you do that, the other one from behind, you just fold it up and then tuck it in. So this is the angle on which it's gonna sit on the table. So we're actually done with the folding. So you can open this up and then take the wings. And if you want it open, if you did do the chopstick rest here, you know, you could open it, you can keep it more, more you know, closed like that. And that's probably the other reason why they did the head this way, because otherwise you really don't see the head um, when it's this small. But uh, in a large size, I think it's, it's lovely. This is great. And you can open this up. Like that. Looks like that from the side. Isn't that cool? It's really neat. So we're gonna do the second version of this too with a different head and a different neck. And this one looks like, where did it go? Okay, so there's a difference, so it's this one. So it's sitting up higher and the fan goes up very, very high, which is kind of cool. And this has the traditional head here, okay? So go ahead and grab another sheet of paper and we're gonna do that. So figure out what color you want your tail to be. And um, sorry, let me neaten up my area here. So mine is going, my tail color is going to be red and the body is going to be green. So have the body color face down, tail color face up. Let's fold our rectangle. So this is actually to get to the end, uh, right before you do the head, um, it's all gonna be the same sequence. So this is great. So now that you ha have that, open it up, rotate, let's fold the other rectangle. Let's unfold that. We're going to turn it over. And fold both triangles. Unfold that, rotate, fold the other triangle. Unfold that, push 
push up from the center, it pops up and collapse from the four corners. Bring your hands together and then you'll split your layers two and two and then put it flat on the table for your preliminary base. So this should be the color of the outside where the crane is and the tail color is on the inside. So we're gonna make an ice cream cone on one side. So again, make sure that the open end is facing you. Take this bottom edge, bring it up to, but not over the center line. The same for the other side. Up to, but not over. Uh, use your, oh wait, we're gonna do the ice cream then. Fold the triangle down. And then use your creasing tool all the way around. And then unfold the ice cream, unfold the cone, peel off the top layer of paper, keeping the ice cream flat, stretching the paper out. So the sides come in, start from the bottom and work the paper in. Make sure you do open up this corner here. And then for the top half, you just pinch that fold in place. And the same for the other side, you're gonna bring it from the outside and then pinch the top portion here till it flattens out to your petal fold. And then you can go ahead and use your creasing tool all the way around. Okay, everyone good? Yes, okay. Let's see, so now we're gonna turn it over. And this is where we do our squash folds, okay? So you're gonna take this one here on the right, we swing it over to the left, reinforcing the spine and bringing it to center. Slide your finger into the pocket, pop it open and squash fold it down, keeping that center crease lined up with this gap here with the two triangles. When you fold it, make sure you do use your creasing tool. Let's reinforce that crease. And then let's work on the other one. So take this left hand flap, bring it over to the right. Take the next flap, fold it over to the right and bring to center and then squash fold. You also wanna pay attention to your flaps down here. Sometimes it starts shifting out like this. So before you actually put that fold in place, just make sure these are all lined up and down here. And then you're sure to have a nice symmetrical squash fold. Okay. And then now we're doing, we're bisecting these triangles, right? So let's start from the left, taking this edge and folding it to that point, up to but not over that center crease. The same for the other side, up to but not over. And then use your creasing tool to reinforce these creases. Okay. Now we're going to unfold the one on the left, swing the whole flap over to the right, reinforcing that spine, bringing it to center and sliding your finger in to open the pocket and then squashing that into place like that. See, those pre-creases work, don't they? <laughs> Makes it easy, especially when you get like into the really skinny, thin part right up in here. It really does help. Okay, so now that we have that, we take the flap on the right side of that and just bring it over 
splitting that in half basically. So you get, it looks like this. And then take the one on the right, open that up. Take the whole flap, swing it over to the left, reinforcing the spine, bringing it to center, and then squash folding all the way down. After you squash fold, take your folding tool and make sure that that's super flat. And then, okay, so take this right flap and swing it over. Take the next flap, swing that over. And then now we're gonna repeat that sequence of bisecting these triangles, okay? So I'm gonna start with the left one. Bring it up to, but not over that center line. Same for the other side. Up to, but not over. After you fold it, use your creasing tool. We're gonna to make that strong pre-crease happen. And then if you remember the sequence, you're going to unfold one flap, take that entire flap, swing it over to the other side, bring it to center, slip your finger in and squash fold. I love these repetitive folds, it's great. Uh, once you do that, make sure you use your creasing tool. I'm going to have to try a spoon next time. Okay. Then you're going to take the other half of that flap and bring it over to the other side, exposing our final one here, which we're going to open. Reinforce the spine by swinging the whole thing over to the left, bringing it to center and squash folding. Right. And reinforcing it with your creasing tool. So now we're going to find the center of the tail by flipping pages over to get to the center. So it's flipping this over once, then flipping this one two, and then three. Three should get you right to the middle. So it should look like this. And you could check to make sure you've got four flaps on this side, two short and two big, and two flaps on this side and two long ones. So four, four and four. We are going to fold this point down, but remember you have a lot of layers here. So you have to kind of nudge these in place by either using your creasing tool or your fingernail, just like what I'm doing here. And then fold that down. And then definitely using your creasing tool right through the, all those layers there, like that. Okay, we're gonna rotate, let's rotate the model. So now the fan of the tail is face up. Okay, and then we're going to fold this whole thing in half vertically. So again, you know, you've got a lot of layers here. So kind of nudge that in place first with your fingernail. And then let's just fold that th whole thing in half. <clears throat> Once you do that, let's take your creasing tool and go ahead and crease this top fan here. And especially right here in the middle that where the most layers are. And then also check to make sure that this point here where the beak is, is lined up. Mine's off by a little bit. So I'm gonna adjust it so that it comes to a point. Like that, okay? So now we have our pre-crease line here <clears throat> and we're going to make a crease Take, bringing this edge over to, actually, and what, do I have this oriented correctly? Yes, yeah, this way, okay. Um, we're going to take this edge and using this as your pivot point, bring it up to that edge like this. And make sure that you use your creasing tool. 
And then you're unfolding this, turning it over to the other side, reinforcing that crease. So we're gonna go ahead and fold it off to the right now. <clears throat> Use your creasing tool to reinforce that and then unfold. So now it's the <clears throat> outside reverse fold, which means you open the layers from the back here and right where this point is, push down. This will pop up. This will turn into a valley fold here. And you just basically close the tail back up. That will bring this. And then go ahead and fold that line there. And then when you continue, it reverses the direction here. OK, so now we have this. And we're going to make an additional fold to make the neck um, come up straight. And this will make the tail pop up cool, you know, really nicely. So we're going to take this edge here and we're going to make a valley fold to line up with this here. This is going to be our pivot point down here. So it ends up being like that. Okay. And then go ahead and make your crease. So you see that this edge comes, this edge comes up to meet the tail valley folding it straight up so it should look like that. Give this a good crease. And then unfold. And we're going to do an inside reverse fold with this. From the top, you're going to split your layers open like this. And this whole thing gets pushed in this reverses direction. These, this fold and this fold, this is already a mountain fold. We want to change this one to a mountain fold. So the way you do that is you open it up, push it in, and then reverse the direction of this fold. So basically you're taking this and it should fall right into place just like that. Okay, that's what it looks like from the front and that's what it looks like from the side. And then now we're doing an inside reverse fold for the beak. So this is the traditional beak that you would for a crane. Let's do our pre-crease. So you're going to take the tip of the head and swing it over to the, make sure that this is, you know, the size that you want and kind of the angle that you want it to be. I'm going to have mine pointed up a little bit. So I'm going to angle it up and then make my crease. So it looks like that. get your creasing tool. This is a pre-crease, so let's make sure that that's nicely in place. Unfold. And then now from the front, we're going to split these layers here. And then these, one of them is already a valley fold. This one needs to change to a valley fold. So when you push the top in, this will turn into a mountain fold. And then when you pinch everything together, it should fall right into place. It'll follow that pre-crease that we made here. So that's the only difference on this one. And this one, if you look at the profiles, you see this? This is where it's going to stand. So now you're done with folding. So just kind of open the back here. What you can do is and it's recommended, is let's go ahead and put a crease, let's put a valley fold right here on the outside flap. So just kind of reach behind and make this into a valley fold and then do the same for the other side. So just bring that down and create a valley fold so that it opens up real nicely. There's a split on the back so it should be a nice kind of a tripod so that it uh, opens up and stands very nicely. Uh, so, okay, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Continue to be safe, stay hydrated if you're in the areas that are really hot. And um, we'll see you next week. Take care and have a great day. Enjoy. Bye. Bye. Bye.